Go ahead. <laughs> what? What do you mean what? <laughs> what? It's not like, start or what? Yeah, but it doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't come to me first anyway. So go ahead. You open us up today, since you want to be on your I, phone. Open us up. Um, I thought we that that's a good opener right there. We put that before the show. Oh gosh. <laughs> I got all the great ideas. <laughs> you have the best ideas. I got all the great ideas. I got the best ideas. Best ideas. This podcast may contain views and opinions which are those of the hosts and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of any local agency, organization, union, employee, or company, including the podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Off the Clock Shop Talk. Nice to see you again this week. Um, as you can see, Salvas is over there on his phone. As per Paying usual. attention. Fuck him. <laughs> don't worry about him. But <laughs> then he wonders why I don't want to come to the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're back on uh, just me, Salvas, and George today. Uh, came to uh, give you a little information, talk uh, talk some shop, uh, nothing too crazy. Teamster news. Teamster news. Yeah. Teamster news. I mean, uh, what do you got for us today, George? I guess we'll jump right into it. So, uh, the Amazon driver is out in Skokie, which is local 705, that area, um, in Chicago. In Chicago. Okay. Uh, there's 100 workers there, and they organize. Now, they were met with... You know, obviously, Amazon's basically like, you know, fuck you. They didn't, they're not recognizing the organization. Yeah. So now they're on strike. And they've been on strike now, I believe, for, I think, for like five days now. Okay. Um, but they're basically, like, just like anything else, unfair labor practices, right? They're making them drive, like, their shitty, fucked up cars. They're making them uh, not um, reporting their injuries. <laughs> the yeah, Sounds they're like UPS. Sound a little. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. A little bit. <laughs> but basically, they're doing all the shit that is 100% illegal. Was I don't understand how companies get away with this shit now. Just because, like, it's like it's 2024. How do companies get away with being like, hey, we're going to underpay you. You're going to have to skip all your meals and breaks. And You're gonna have to don't shit, report your shit bad back. on people's driveways. Yeah, like I don't. Under, I honestly just don't get how companies, especially multi-billion-dollar companies, can get away with that. Yeah, and then people just turn a blind <laughs> eye to it. You know. Well, they have that model that we we've, we've kind of discussed. The way Amazon gets away with it is that they have subcontractors for everything. So when yeah. somebody organizes, or you know, like th- this is a group of drivers. Yeah. Right. So all there, there are no drivers that directly work for Amazon. Yeah. That's, that's, that's their, that's their way around so it. The models. Of, yeah. They're like, oh, they don't work for us. Like, it's like, <laughs> well, okay, you're driving an Amazon package car. You're wearing an Amazon vest. You get paid by And Amazon. you get paid by Amazon. Amazon how are they not the fucking, shots. how are they not fucking Amazon employees? It makes no yeah. fucking sense. Well, they, they want to be able to. Yeah. Yeah. They want to be able to, like, we don't know that guy. Yeah. Exactly. I, that's why I like what, you know, Shout out to Bobby or our communication director. Bobby Wainwright, Bobby shout Wainwright. out to you. Uh, I know you're probably going to watch this, so <laughs> shout out. Bobby loves the podcast, dude. He, I, lo- he loves the podcast. He's actually, yeah. uh, and I, I told him this the other day, but Bob, for those of you guys that don't know, we brought on a new comms director for Local 952. His name's Bobby Wainwright. Um, I think we've shouted him out before. Um, he's kind of in charge of, of all our communications at this point, getting us up to speed. Um, you know, one of the reasons we started the show was because we felt that the Teamsters in general, you know, were, were somewhat old school as far as communication yeah, goes. Yeah, it's been like that. Right? Um, I know a couple locals have, have comm guys. Our joint council has a great comm, out, comm guy. Yeah. Um, you know, Christian, he, he works for the Joint Council now. He came out of 396. Um, but we're, we're starting to kind of get the ball rolling in the right direction as far as communications and getting the newer generation because they don't communicate the same way that the old generation yeah. did. So it's one of the reasons we started the show to, you know, get information out differently. Yeah. Um, 
you know, and, and even for those of you, you should, but even though for those of you that don't go to your, you know, your general membership meetings and, and whatnot, um, I, I would always tell you, you definitely should go, you should check it out, um, make it a point once, you know, one day a month. It's, it's can, literally anywhere from two to three hours out of your entire month. Yeah. It's a small sacrifice. Just to get there. But we understand that people don't communicate the same. Some can't make it. Some work, you know, like ours at 952 is on Saturdays. Um, we do have Saturday workers. I mean, there's a lot of workers that work on Saturdays. Yeah. We understand that. So we, we do this to try to help further that communication, further the information, um, kind of get you active, all that stuff. Um, and Also to realize that, like, you know, other crafts, like, because everyone's fighting to have, like, a good contract, right? And when you go and you see other crafts struggling to, say, have the things that you have from your contract, it put kind of lines things up and puts things in perspective. Yeah, for sure. I, recently, that happened to me. I had, a, I had a member ask me, he's like, would it be worth it if I went to the membership meetings? And I was like, I think <coughs> entirely so. He's like, why? And I'm like, well, you get to see from all these other crafts, like, how good we have it. You know, he's like, but how would that benefit me? Because like, now you'll know what the struggle is with it, like, for all the... Just because, like, you're part of this craft, we're all part of the local. We're all, we're, we're supposed to all be in this together. We all support each other. And that's the whole point. No, I was just uh, going to say, well, this is a repost, and I don't know exactly where this came from, but it's on the Teamsters 952 Instagram. He put, uh, Amazon makes 4.5 times more in yearly profits than UPS. And 4.5 then, times Yeah, 4.5 times more. And it says, but Amazon workers make 50% less than unionized UPS drivers, full-time warehouse workers. So if you look at that scale, um, and that's they're, only, they're that's making 20, 50 an hour, the drivers. Yeah. And obviously UPSers are making 41 right now. Um, and, and, and that's just, just straight pay, right? Just real quick. Yeah, speaking straight pay. speaking yeah. of the, you know, the Facebook page and Instagram page, all that is getting revamped. Uh, if you haven't, please check out the new 952 uh, or, you know, the Teamsters Local 952 page, the, like, page for the local. Um, check, check it out on Instagram, spot, I mean, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Facebook. I believe there's a Twitter coming. Mm -hmm. um, all those things are, are, are coming. And, oh, I, think, and, and I, think, I think Bobby <laughs> said he did his first TikTok, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Oh, we need to get So around. all that's coming. Please go check it out. Find it. Um, like I said, Bobby's kind of helping bring us into the 21st century here. Dude, did you see his his uh, going dark video? Yes. I fucking loved it, dude. It was, it was dope, right? It was dope, yeah. Yeah, I liked it. So that's when, like, when he says he likes the show, I'm like, dude, I'm just a dude who just did a random podcast, and I taught myself how to do all this, and he likes it. And I was like, that's impressive, because he's went to school for that. Yeah, you know? for sure. It's, uh, yeah. it's saying something. George, George, saying George something. is awesome. We give you all credit, George. George is awesome. He, uh, <laughs> for those of you guys that don't know, maybe <clears throat> you've never tuned into the show before or, you know, you're new. George is the guy who does all the editing, does, you know, all the, the camera work. Um, so he's he's sitting on the show, but he's also behind the scenes. Um, and it's – we appreciate you, George. That's what I'm saying. It, it just reminded me of that uh, – we were watching uh, Concrete, the comedian. uh -huh. Um, I don't know if you've seen it, George, but it just reminded me of him. He's supposedly there filming uh, the interview with uh, R. Kelly, and he's in the oh. background. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that video. And that, it's just hilarious. You guys got to check that out. Maybe you can get a little clip in there. But I can put a clip yeah. in there. You're telling me, man, this is not about music. I'm trying to have a relationship with my kids, and I can't do it. What? No, I just don't want we'll to do funny. a shout out to Concrete. Yeah. Maybe yeah. You'll check out the show, dude. Yeah, Concrete. <laughs> but I, it just, it just, he's the, he's the guy in the background. And that's why a lot of people don't know. Not only do you do the show, not only do you drive a truck, not only are you a steward, but you do all the other stuff that comes with it. And so, you know, I'm going to stop blowing up your head.
bad, but um, <laughs> Salas, Salas, kinda, Salas, Salas kinda looks like concrete. <laughs> that ain't me, dog. That ain't me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't me, Perito. Yeah, that ain't me, Perito. Yeah. 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 Kind of looks like him. Concrete, if you want to come on, do the podcast. Let's do it. I'm ready. I would love to have a comedian up here. That'd be great. Uh, uh, so yeah, so that's going on over there. Um in in uh where'd you say? Illinois. Illinois. Okay. Uh, 705 and, Chicago area. Yeah, Chicago. Okay. Illinois. Right. Um, shout out to uh, Juan Campos. He's, you know, he's the, the ST out there. Oh, that's um, yeah. Or I don't know if he's the ST. He's the... the. I don't know. You better get the facts straight before we put it out there. Well, I say, I say ST as secretary treasurer because I know here in this area, the secretary treasurer is the top, top yeah. dog. But Juan Campos, he's the principal officer. Whatever his okay. title would be, either president or, or secretary treasurer. Um, you know, shout out to him. He's Let us know it. in the comments. Or I can just tell you now. Juan Campos is the principal officer for Local 705. And the title of principal officer is secretary treasurer, which he has been since 2013. Doing a lot out there. Um, and recently, you know, I, I went there for national. Mm -hmm. um, great. Great local man. They 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 put on a, a nice little thing for us. They're, I'm, uh, I'm really. Uh, what's the word? I'm I'm just uh, blown away by by the stuff that they do. They've, yeah. they've been killing it out there. Cool. The BAs are great. Their stewards are great. I I believe. So in their local, believe it or not, their stewards are made to go take college <coughs> courses. Wow. Huh. So they actually are very They're very versed in the contract. They're, you know, they know, honestly, how to put on cases. Wow. Um, they're, they're legit, dude. Their stewards are Well, bad. they're definitely grooming f the, f the future, right? <laughs> I mean, because that's only benefiting the members and the local. Exactly. If that's what they're doing, because that, that takes a lot, you know, to go to school and then um, be a steward and still get on the truck or whatever the case may be. Yeah. But that's no awesome. Labor. Yeah. Well, we have, you know, labor courses here, you know, at the local as well. Um, I think, uh, I've taken part in one, uh, I wish I could do more, um, but it's very informative. So if you guys have the opportunity to sign up, we have them here. Um, maybe we can get that information for the next one they're yep. going to have here, but you learn a lot in those, in those training courses yeah. Yeah. and they're college credits. It's a college course. Yeah, yeah. It's a college course. So labor studies. Yeah. So, yeah. and matter of fact, we got to talk to. Basically, what's going on in, in, in Skokie, they're just, you know, they're, they're, they're striking, you know, obviously, so they can get their, get recognized. And that kind of leads into the group that was organized by 396, right? The group out in Palmdale. Yeah. Same, same sort of thing, a DSP, um, which is, like we were kind of saying, is they work for Amazon. Amazon calls the shots, everything, but there is, it's basically a subcontracting model. Yeah. So once they organized... Uh, Amazon just kind of threw their hands up and said, well, they're not our employees. We're not recognizing them or, you know, being organized. Um, and now there's NLRB charges pending. Yeah. Um, and we're w waiting for a decision from the NLRB that basically says um, that they are Amazon employees. And if that happens, it's going to spark quite a bit of, of action um, by the Teamsters and by other, by other DSPs. Yeah. 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 So out there in Palmdale, I guess they're um, extending their strike line for uh, was it Con uh, Connecticut uh, Amazon that's also trying to organize. So they're showing their support by extending the strike line. So, I mean, it seems like at this point they're, you know, Amazon is a beast, right? Amazon is huge. They make, you know, Salva said four times the profits that UPS does. And UPS is a giant company, mm -hmm. right? Um, that being said, there is some sort of, you know, some groundswell yeah. that the Teamsters have really started and getting these guys organized and, and you know, bringing them in, into the organization. Yeah. I know that the ALU recently merged with the Teamsters. Um, how that's going to look, I'm not sure. But now, you know, Amazon Labor Union is, is, is part of the Teamsters. They, they weren't, I mean, no knock on them, but they weren't doing much. And I think the Teamsters, they see that, 
that we're we're putting in the work that's necessary. Yeah, that this organization and all that stuff. This is a, a um, I'm reading off of the the Teamster newsroom, and this is by this is a quote from uh, Senator U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal. He says, I've never been prouder to walk with any group than these Amazon workers who are fighting for fair pay, safe working conditions, and respect. You deserve and you need a contract. Amazon is degrading its own people, putting profits ahead of people, and putting its stock price ahead of its workers. And he says this to Jeff Bezos. You can go down as the hero or villain in this piece. All you have to do is treat workers fairly, give workers fair pay, safe working conditions, respect, and a contract. America is watching. That's fucking awesome. Hmm. Yeah. To Jeff Bezos. Fuck Jeff. Fuck Bezos. you. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, He's gonna pull us off YouTube. No, yeah. Remember, this episode I, just I, got bad. I was just the gonna, whole thing's gonna get wiped. <laughs> no, I, I was just gonna say when when you come. Remember, I didn't say any of that. Right? <laughs> so I was <just> scared. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, okay. You heard it first. I was siding with Jeff Bezos. Oh, my God. Siding with Jeff Bezos. So, uh, I mean, we talked a little bit about Teamster News. Um, Let's talk about some news that affects all of us uh, within the labor movement and all of us in general in in regard to AI and taking jobs and whatnot. Yeah. So we've talked about it before, like automation and um, Waymo is one of those – uh, automated like cars, right? Like for yeah, transportation, driving services. driving services. So in Arizona, the Waymo is being they're pulling out entirely. They're pulling all the all the cars out, everything. I guess there was another crash recently. Mm-hmm. It crashed into a telephone pole. I don't think there's any fatalities, but that we know of. That we know of. None of them were, were reported, at least on the on the on the post. But uh, Carla Schumann, uh, Secretary Treasurer for Local 104 out in Arizona, yes. basically said that you know. These things are incredibly unsafe, and they've been here way too long, so they're glad to see them leave the state. And hopefully we get them pulled out from every state that has them, because I know we have them in San Francisco. I believe and so, yes. I think they're doing a little bit more. I don't know about out east, but I know in the middle of the country, too, they're doing it. So hopefully we get that all pulled out so we can have more job opportunities for, you know. Yeah. Fuck Waymo, too. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Hey, right, you guys are on a sick one today. <laughs> all of a sudden, it's always nice. All of a sudden, he's a nice guy. Yeah. I'm going to add in the shit we were talking about before the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not We still it. have that footage. Saw yeah, us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. When he was laying down with his feet up. Yep. Yeah. But I, I mean, we, we've talked about it before, you know, supporting. And, and this is kind of the thing that. We talk about not supporting giant companies. Waymo is a huge company from China yeah. um, that gives two shits. There are no workers. They're just automated cars. Um, they they have killed people in the past. And I mean, yes. I, could you even imagine being in a in a Waymo? Right? It's like an Uber that you call that drives automatic. You're in a Waymo, and this thing just drives off the road and goes crashes I mean, into a pole. Like that's what horrible. the hell? Like, I understand the convenience part of it, but at the same time, it's like, I want to be safe, and I want other people to be safe. But can you imagine the fear? 100%. You're in a, a car that has no driver. You're in a... And then it's just veering yeah. off the road, and you're like, Fuck. what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> There's no steering wheel. Right? So you're like... It just goes onto a train track and just sits there. <laughs> like, what am I doing? Fuck. It locks the doors. Like, come on. that That's insane. I still um, wonder how that person feels, like, because they're... The Waymo that got the the vehicle in San Francisco that got blocked and it blocked the emergency response vehicle yes. and the guy passed away. Uh-huh. I mean, you'd probably feel like shit because you were just going to Starbucks or some shit, you know? Yeah, you're like I was just trying to just trying to get my fucking breakfast sandwich. Yeah, my cardboard breakfast sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Had one of those <laughs> today. Yeah, yeah. He still ate it. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So <laughs> we're coming up on Fourth of July. Coming up, yeah. when, when this comes out, it'll be the oh, day you after. You talk about 4th of July safety? Be safe on 4th of July, please. Terry! Yeah. Put out that, that video. Which one? What are you doing, Terry? Terry! <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that? You, you ever see that one? Uh-uh. The guy in the wheelchair? Uh-uh. What, he lights, lighting the firework? Uh-uh. Terry! Terry, what are you doing, Terry? 
It's all like back up, Terry. Oh, it's, God, it's Terry. Like right <laughs> you never seen that no, one? I haven't seen oh, it. dude, it's this clip, <laughs> and it's old, but it's this clip where this guy in a in an automatic wheelchair, right? He's like, he lights a firework, and it's a little cake, like a mini yeah. cake, and it starts going <laughs> off, and he's trying to back up, and his thing's not working. His chair, and he's like. Uh, and there's some guy filming him. Well, you have to going, put that. You have to find that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this, uh, that's the best part. Terry, what are you doing, Terry? Terry, what the what, what you doing, Terry? Terry, what's the one? Oh, one, of one, of one, of one of the best <laughs> clips ever, dude. Oh, it literally is so oh, funny. It's but be so safe funny. out there. Happy Fourth of July to yeah. you guys. Um, this will actually come out after Fourth of July. So. But, you know, be safe, please. Obviously, after 4th of July, let's let's talk about that. Salvas? I was just going to say, I mean, we're coming up in our summer months, you know. Um, it's it's hot in the warehouses. It's hot in the truck. Yeah. You know, you spoke on it a, a little bit last, uh, last week about what UPS or what the Teamsters negotiated, I should say, for UPS to – have cooling solutions and the truck and the air conditioning. Um, and I heard uh, Joseph, Mr. Martinez, talk about it. Um, it's no joke. People fall out, you know. It's, yeah, it's pretty exactly. hot. We, had a, we sure had a driver you, pass out recently. Yeah. I mean, take that water with you. Take those breaks. Um, you could do, like, serious long-term kidney damage, your, you know, your organs. I know that we think, oh, I was just hot and I might might have passed out or I might have heat, sh- I might have had heat stroke, but do you could do permanent, long lasting permanent, permanent damage. damage yeah. So um, yeah. please stay Hydrate. hydrated. Yeah. Drink water the night before. You need to be drinking. I know it sounds sounds lame because you want to have beer the night before, but ha- have a glass at least a glass of water before you go to sleep. Have a glass of water when you wake up. <coughs> you know. Before you, you go stay, into work, you yeah, need to stay, stay hydrated. hydrated. Electrolytes too. That's important. less coffee, definitely. Stuff with caffeine. Like I understand, like we need caffeine, but it's, it's diuretic. Like, yeah, it's not, it sucks water out. Sucks of you. water right out of you. And beer. Oh man, yes. It's got water in it though. Cut, <laughs> <laughs> cut back on the beer. Yeah, you know, cut back on, on the beer. Sunday, Friday, Saturday. I get it. After I, you get off work. I wanted to mention this in the last episode, but I, I was talking to Joseph afterwards. But one of the things I suggest to people. Um, to add to your lunch would be like like fruit that hydrates you, watermelon. like watermelon and stuff. So, not only is it tasty, it'll hydrate you. Some, some cold watermelon on a hot oh, yeah, that's that's fucking good. Up, take a take a watermelon slice, put a popsicle stick in it, and just throw it in the freezer for a little bit, dude. That's oh, dude, good. Yeah, I used to do like frozen grapes. You ever do that? Oh, Freeze yeah. grapes. Oh, and you throw them at people. So good. Yep. Love frozen grapes. Yeah, it's good stuff. Anyways, <laughs> well, everybody, yeah. Yeah. well, everybody, um, yeah, I mean, shorter show today, uh, but we do appreciate you tuning in every week. We wanted to get some content out for you. A um, couple little highlights from, you know, from Teamster News. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I know last week we spoke about the ACs, right? They're, they're in uh, testing right now. They're in, yeah, they're in testing. In, in, they're they're going to be here. Don't worry. All the new trucks per the contract have to have it. Um, they're testing the best solutions um, for you guys to keep you cool out there during the summers. I'm curious because, like, you know how they give you shit if your car is just running? So what if you take a lunch and you're just sitting in your car and your car is running for, like, a half hour? Yeah, I don't know. If you're on right. a resi route or something, I would. You, I wonder you if they would just anywhere. Yeah, I wonder if they I just, think they just let that slide. The other way. Right. It is just, what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. Well, we'll see when that comes up, right? It's going to yeah, come up some it's point. It's going to come up. It's going to come up. But thank you guys for tuning in every week. We appreciate you. Please like, share, subscribe. The The shares are huge for us. Um, obviously, we love the likes and, and the comments. Definitely um, comment. Email us or comment on some of the videos. We'll get back to you. I'd like to start doing some, like, shout-outs. If you want us to shout you out on the show, you watch, um, I'd love to do that. Yeah. So... Let us know. Let us know. You can let us know in the comments or you can email us at OCST.000Gmail and, you know, all questions, comments, concerns, or if you want us to shout you the fuck out. So, dope. F bombs um, today. Real yeah, quick. Yeah, lots of F bombs. Let's talk about donations. Oh, so we do have a GoFundMe going. We're just looking to upgrade the, uh, the equipment, maybe get some equipment that will actually cut my editing time down. Uh, also, we're trying to create like the best content for the labor movement. You know, we're trying to help push it in that direction. You know, hopefully more, hopefully more locals will take uh, 
what we're doing here and inspire them so they get to do some, some stuff. You know, I want to see more content from other locals. It's pretty cool. So if you want, uh, there's going to be a, a QR code right here. Uh, there's a link in the description below. So please donate. It, it would help us out tremendously. Anything helps. We appreciate it. And it's all going to go to bringing better content to you guys. Yeah. Savas, you got anything? No? All right, fuck yourself. <laughs> I won't be here next week. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We appreciate you. We'll see you next week. See you next week.